All right, and welcome back to SMSU Esports. The second game on today versus Bradley University. And this should be an interesting game. A little bit different things coming out from SMSU. A little bit of the same. We've got the Vi pick the same. The Lux pick the same. But SMSU going for a Nasus top. A lot more of a scaling coming from that top lane. LeBlanc coming from mid. A, another assassin, very similar to the Ari, but... A little bit more upfront burst, you know, a lot faster of a combo. And the big difference, the Swain coming in the bot lane, that is a big change from the Ash. A lot more damage, a lot more team fight heavy presence. SMSU would actually be pretty okay going to team fights this game as long as the team fights are later in the game. Meanwhile, we got Kennen, Maokai, Arka, or Akshan, uh, Ezreal, and Blitzcrank coming over from the other lineup. Looking for picks with that Blitzcrank. Ezreal kind of all-around mobility. Very good at kind of everything from an AD carry perspective. A little bit weaker on the HP. Um, Kennen, though, going to be maybe a problem in the top lane. Kennen is very poke-heavy. Can be a problem if Nasus doesn't start uh, late off well. If Kennen gets a kill ahead... That top lane is really scary. So I think a lot of this comes down to if Nas is having a good time top lane and the rest of the map is doing okay, I think SMSU are going to be very happy. Uh, but we'll have to see, you know, how things progress here. Akshan obviously has that ability in the team fight to resurrect allies. So if he's able to show up late in team fights and kind of get kills and resurrect people, that can really swing team fights pretty heavily. And we look like Bradley University going for an invade here. Is SMSU going to see it coming? The Blitz crank. Scary. Yeah, I believe so. Looks like SMSU just trying to gather information from their own bushes. Oh, and there comes the flash from the Blitz crank. He does get the flash from the Swain. I don't know if this is a fight that SMSU wants to try and take this right now. This isn't terrible. They're not going to get chased down here. They shouldn't at least. Oh, wait, Zero Power takes a bad pathing. This might be Blitzcrank getting hooked back up, but he's too far behind. So SMSU okay with kind of that situation. Swain does get stacks out of it, so Swain is happy. Uh, SMSU have to back on Vi, though. A little bit late of a back means he's not, not going to get help with his buff. But is Maokai going to get help with his? I think that's a major win for... Bradley University right there. Yeah, it's pretty big deal that Vi had to back there. Um, I think I would have just popped a health potion if I was Vi and started the buff anyway. Going to the opposite side, Vi is going to be pretty far behind. Yeah, that's a lot of time lost right there. The CS for Bradley will be... I'm, I'm not sure how much Vi versus... Um, the other jungler. Maokai. Yeah. Now, Maokai typically falls a little bit behind when it comes to clear speed, um, but does very well ganking early because a lot of crowd control effects. This Blitzcrank bullying a little bit in the bottom lane. Swain trying to CS. Does get the wave pushing, so that's good. Top lane, Nasus is going to naturally fall behind early here. But it's just about staying in this lane. Kind of similar to last game. Ooh, kind of doing a lot of damage. LeBlanc struggling in the middle lane so far. Down a level. Due to the way the minions are coming in. Down quite a bit of HP. Kind of going to push this in. Nasus is trying to get out without getting punished, but again, a lot of damage. And Lux gets hooked in, has to flash away, is going to drop. SMSU, Ellie forgets to hit Summoner Heal there. Needed to Summoner Heal right away. Looks like top lane is in a very bad position as well for SMSU. Yeah, Kennen there getting a lot of damage dealt. Oh, here comes the Blitzcrank. Has Ghost. The, guy the flash is down on Swain. He's probably going to drop here as well. Does hit the root. Maybe he's able to get out, but Ezreal, ease forward. There's a lot of damage here. 
Really good escape from Gaia Fail right there. Yeah, and actually really close. If that E lands onto Ezreal, he probably would have gotten the kill. A lot of poke coming on the Nasty. He's got to be careful, and there's Kennen with the kill. And a lot of minions bouncing off that tower as well. Not what Nasus wants. That previous time he walked up, he took a lot of poke. Probably needed to wait for the minions under tower. Kind of going to go ahead and back as well. See if Kennen decides to TP back top or save that TP. The lock. With the way the minions are at, he can pro Okay, he is going to do TP anyway. It's one of those times where Kennen can save it and decide to be more on the presence for the team or can use it and go ahead and get more of an advantage in this top lane. Yeah, some of the gold gaps between the team, uh, SMSU and Bradley have already. Yeah, we've are already got a thousand gold gap between the teams. Yeah, definitely coming from mid lane and bottom due to the CS gap. Yeah, uh, eight CS gap in bottom, which is pretty significant. And it's that kill in Kennen top. You know, that's 300 extra dollars in Kennen's pocket. Vi unable to really get much on this gank. Are they going to turn around to Vora Dark? Gets caught by the Maokai, not expecting. Maokai around the corner. And this is going to be two kills for BU. Yeah, the gold lead growing even more right there as we see it grow from 1K to 2K. Actually, even 2.3, a lot of money. That's uh, almost an entire item difference between these players already. Yeah, it looks like most of their items are going on to their Ezreal, so that's going to be quite scary. Yeah, Ezreal, very good character to get ahead in these types of games. Very safe character. You know, lower base HP with that E just... Allows you to dodge so easily. And SMSU putting some punishment on the Blitzcrank who gets caught by the Swain E. Or Swain W. Kennen is six here. So Kennen's going to pop ult and get another kill. SMSU just not ready for that top lane aggression. Yeah. And here comes the gank at bottom. Swain, no flash, is going to die here. Going to try to finish the Blitzcrank off. Unable to. A good attempt, nonetheless. Yeah, he knew he was in a bad scenario there. Down quite a bit on the CS front. That's you behind all over right now. They're going to need to find a way to recover quickly, or this game is going to snowball. And I think it might have to come on the back of a big Vi gank. Maybe getting a kill on to mid and then LeBlanc getting a little bit more free to roam. Yeah, the next couple of plays are going to have to be huge and definitely a favor SMSU if we're going to go back into this. Yeah. We need to gain, gain some momentum. Are the comps clashing at all like is there a, a so both teams actually don't mind a team fight which is actually it's kind of bad for us msu because it, at least if they had a, you know, a different strength than their opponent then you can maybe abuse that a little bit when you're behind but when you have the same strength as a, an opponent it makes it very difficult to uh come back in games that you fall behind you can't use something that the opponent doesn't have that makes sense Looks like Ugh, it's it's, it's going to be a brutal lane for this Nasus. 2 0 on Kennen. He's not going to be able to walk up. He might actually need to start just pushing and then running into the jungle and farming some jungle because he is not going to have a good time in top lane. SMSU able to steal away that scuttle and onto the Maokai here. The root does land. Nasus is here as well, but the flash from Maokai able to get him out. That's really sad from SMSU. That's kind of what they needed. And now the Kennen, he's collapsing. This is going to be bad for SMSU. Is the Kennen all up? It is. And there's an all onto two players of SMSU. They're trying to get out, but they're getting taking so much damage. And both of them are going to fall. Not what SMSU needed. 
And Maokai getting out there is such a big deal because that team fight doesn't happen if Maokai does not get out. SMSU going for a fight in bottom. There's their summoner heal. Swain doing a lot of damage. Ezreal trying to get on the Lux. Lux trying to stay alive. Does not get the dodge there. Kinda Swain does, does get off. the kill. Now flashing in, trying to make sure his ult gets used fully. Is this going to be a double? For it should be a double, yeah. And I, that's something SMSU's got going for them now, but the rest of the map is, I mean, that's a 5k gold advantage at 9 minutes. And Nasus is just cannot really farm anymore top. Yeah, and as you see, looks like he narrowly avoided being pinched. Yeah, guy fail, good map awareness, realizes the Akshan's running bottom, able to get out before the gank comes through. Gonna go ahead and back, spend all that hard earned money now. And at least Swain is gonna be relatively even with Ezreal and items. You know, actually, still quite a bit down because of the CS differential, but catches up quite a bit from that team fight there. Now guy finishing off the blue buff here, not gonna hand it over to Akshan. Zero gets caught by Blitzcrank here. A nice pull from Blitz though. And really good awareness from Blitz. There was no ward scouting that. If you're SMSU, what do you think you have to do here to try and make something work? This is very much a let this dragon go. Let lanes reset for a moment. Get a kill onto Akshan. And you, I think the LeBlanc snowballs were at what I would go for here. You got to get this LeBlanc in the game because LeBlanc is in the middle of the map that allows LeBlanc to go more easily to the side lanes and help out. So you want somebody on your team to be in a position to make a change. And that's going to be LeBlanc right now. So I would be focusing really hard on that, but... The thing is, the other team can read that. The other team knows that, hey, they're going to try to get their mid laner ahead. So we're going to have to keep people around. And mm -hmm. there's another all in from Kenna. Not going to get the kill on Nasus, but so much forces damage. the ult out, forces them off the turret. It doesn't even matter that it doesn't get the kill because Nasus is not getting CS for the next couple of minutes again. Oh, just kidding. He does have teleport. He's able to get up here. But still, it forces the teleport usage. And he's just really struggling to get anything going. Yeah, it's straight up bullying happening at, happen yeah. at the moment. And unfortunately, I don't think the Vi being top actually threatens Kennen enough. I think Kennen just fights both of them. Yeah, I mean, Kennen's very strong at the moment and changed the way of... Malakoy getting away in the yeah. uh, previous fight. Yeah, that, I mean, that double kill that they get while Malakai gets out is just such a big deal. And Nasus has to blow Ghost there to get out. LeBlanc really struggling in this mid lane as well. Does not have the static shift finished yet. We could see something happen here. Yeah. And this is a classic counter matchup, by the way. This is why part of the reason people don't pick Nasus is because it's kind of exists. It's a very difficult matchup. It's not entirely surprising to see Kennen winning this matchup very hard. By well, just trying to clean up some farm that Nasus is going to be unable to get, keep this turret alive, but. The Rift Herald getting dropped here. SMSU need to recognize this and they need to get out. This turret is gone. The static ship finished for LeBlanc here. That should help with that with LeBlanc's wave clear and allow her to roam more. Oh, Nasus tries to get some farm. He's gonna get rooted up, gonna have to pop the all. Does get out though. does get another charge off yeah unfortunately it does a lot of damage swain gonna go ahead and back and he is actually headed top lane 
SMSU are going to look for a team fight top. LeBlanc really needs to be roaming top now. SMSU a little all over the place. With a LeBlanc roam, they could have cleaned this fight up a lot better. But LeBlanc goes for tower instead. And now SMSU's rotations are all over whack. LeBlanc noticing possibly that these people are coming down. They shouldn't be terribly scared. The auction is still pretty low. LeBlanc has a lot of mobility versus the Maokai. As long as he does not decide to all in the Maokai, it should be a pretty bad decision because he's a very... Oh, he does! Oh, no, he gets confused! An attack! Oh, no! Oh, no. Is LeBlanc going to get out? And here, a team fight in bottom. Swain pops all, trying to run the Ezreal down. Doing a lot of damage, but taking a lot. Oh, not able to stay alive. And here comes the turn on to Lux. Lux misses Snare there. Can get the auto attack. Does get the auto attack. Gets the kill on Ezreal. Can't get away from a Blitzcrank, though. He's going to get taken out. And meanwhile, Maokai does pick up that kill on LeBlanc. SMSU now down 8,000 gold. A very close fight in bottom. I don't know. Maybe a shield from Lux could have been the difference. Maybe Swain lives long enough. Yeah, I think if that ult from Lux hits, yeah, then... Yeah, for sure. That is a, a lot of Lux's damage is tied up in that ultimate. So mm -hmm. if, the, if that hits, for sure, I think she lives. And here, Estimus, you're going for a TP on the Blanc behind the Blitzcrank. Going to go ahead and secure this kill. That's a good kill for LeBlanc there. That helps get back in the game. SMSU can, you know, they'll take anything they can get right now. But I just, I really worry about where this is going with this top lane. It's what I talked about at the beginning of the game. This is going to be a very important lane. Yeah, it's just over a 9k gold lead at the moment. So it's going to take a lot to get the items needed to pull this back in SMSU's favor. Oh, very close bind there from Lux. And now Lux is going to get taken out. SMSU not in position to follow up on this. Nas is just going to try to get out. I don't think they expect Blitz on oh. Mal Malachi to be there and yeah oh no oh tower ends up blocking it that could have been LeBlanc's life going away there but I think clever it was a, use yeah I think it was a good idea just didn't have the knowledge of the Malachi right there yeah I, yeah, I don't mind, especially when you you fall behind like this. You start making desperation plays because that's how you get back in the game. But unfortunately, sometimes those desperation plays is what, you know, makes you fall even further behind. And now yeah. Swain, completely surrounded here, unable to get enough damage on a single target to get a kill. Does do a lot of damage, yeah. even in a one versus three. You start to see the hints of what could have been... Uh, when you see situations like that, but again, it looks like SMSU a little outmatched in this game. Again, when we look at the ranks of the people in the game, um, SMSU kind of knew this is going to be another difficult one going in. Cool, kind of a, a interesting play by LeBlanc. It almost works, but unable to get out there. This dragon should fall pretty quickly. Yep. And as we see, they do know what's going on, but they just they're not strong enough to come uh, fight for it. And now an 11k gold lead becomes a situation where you're kind of just hoping the opponents throw, because that's the only chance you have of coming back now. Yeah. Um. I think regardless, I'm surprised the CS in mid lane has it fallen further behind than it is. Yeah. That's not too bad of a gap. It, it lost the uh, CS early, and after that, it didn't look too bad, honestly.
Looks like SNSC was trying to fight this. Trying to find something. Guy fail already so low. SMSU do get the alt onto the auction there. And nice. now a three versus one on Maokai. Can they finish this kill? He's so tanky. They are throwing everything and they end up picking. They do end up with a double kill on LeBlanc. And that's a lot of power on one character now. LeBlanc can probably start popping Ezreal in these team fights. Can probably pop Kennen if Stopwatch is on cooldown. Starts to get to the break point on LeBlanc. Maybe SMSU could find something there. LeBlanc trying to use that static shift to farm up and push these lanes out, but here comes Rift Hero. This is the thing that kind of ended the game last game. See if BU are able to use it to the same level of effectiveness. Where would you think they would drop the Hermit? Yeah, I, I like Lift, uh, Rift Herald in either top lane or bottom. You want it in one of those side lanes. A tendency for players is to put it mid, but that's actually the worst lane to break open because both of those Nexus Towers end up shooting the minions right away. If you use it in one of the side lanes, your minions actually end up pushing a lot deeper into the base, creating a lot more pressure. And then when something like Baron comes up, they're at maximum distance away from you when they're clearing that lane. So I would use it bottom right now. Baron's gonna be the next thing I wanna focus on. So getting pressure with it bottom is probably the right call here. Kennen just brutalizing LeBlanc in top lane. LeBlanc takes half her health on a, a zero damage trade back onto Kennen. Yeah, four members of BU. Yeah, BU. <laughs> I couldn't remember that. I was trying so hard. I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, four members. Uh, well, now three members of BU towards the bottom lane. Yeah, and you know, Bloodscrank is kind of one of the best characters to have in these type of scenarios because you can pull somebody completely out of position, pull some Noka in. Minoka just gonna try to run out, but this is a difficult position to be in. A lot of damage going across. Now running away. SMSU being pushed back on all fronts right now. Just and, trying oh. to preserve their cannon poke is just brutal. And ooh, yeah. I was gonna say that looks like ooh! The alt so in the base and it's still Maybe Lux with an alt Maybe here. Maybe dies. Oh. Lux just alt time it, time this right. Doesn't need the alt. Doesn't even need the alt. That was a really, really good kill. The bonus bounty, 700 gold. Yep, 700 gold. A very big deal. Still down 13,000. So, yeah, we don't you know, it makes that. a little <laughs> bit of a chunk in the difference, right? We don't, we don't talk about it. And Ezreal alt comes through. Oh, and the flash, but... Not far enough to the side. The Ezreal still lands. Vi goes down there. And I think this Baron is going to get melted here. I don't think SMSU will be able to contest it. This is, I think, where if I'm playing Lux, I run over there and I just randomly yeah. ult and I hope. I, I pray. I have the fingers crossed. Uh, I was about to say, you know, just aim it over yep. there. Press the... Well, sometimes the biggest comebacks happen from plays like that where it's just you gotta throw you got something's gotta happen for you for the comeback so it could be luck or it could be a skill you yeah know? all right looks like bu is just so spread out right now you never really know what they're going to end up doing yeah i think they really should just be grouped around dragon and then they should push bottom in and the game should pretty much end yeah, it seems like that's exactly what they are doing at the moment. Yeah, I think they've just been a little slow. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, I can see everything going on on the map, so it makes it a lot easier to know what you should be doing. But, like, Kennen out of position here. 
gonna do a lot of damage, but gonna get dropped again. It probably doesn't matter. They can probably fight without Kennen. And that is what's gonna happen here. Swain getting just, oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Flash used. Just trying to stay alive at this point. Yeah. Eximusu just trying to get out with a. I mean, if they only lose two lives in that fight, that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, but look concern. at the positioning. They're, to they're gonna lose two towers for it as well. You yeah. know, Ezreal's gonna break through these towers really quick with Baron buff going. Click on the. Yep. Looks like they're just trying to reset at the moment. Yep. And SMSU, they're lasting longer than last game. So they've got that going right now. But I, I have a feeling we're looking at the last push here. Though Kennen is splitting again. I think this is a big mistake. When you have this big of a lead, you do not need to split. This is kind of a strategy you would, if the game's a little bit more even, you'd try to focus on finding some pressure. Yeah. They Do they still have Rift Herald? No, he got used in middle. I did not see that. And they win the fight even without Kennen here. SMSU gets picked on the Swain and likely picked on the Nasus here. So That's much so damage needed. coming out. Yeah. And this is just the item advantage you see. Yeah. I mean, just from looking at junglers, you can see why it doesn't even have... Doesn't have a second item yet. Yeah. There's almost three completed items. Or if you look at Cannon, four items complete, almost a fifth to the one semi two of Nasus. Yeah. Looking at a level, level 14 on their team and Ellie, who is level 11. Yeah. So. And this one looks like it's going to wrap up here. Ezreal descending to back. Does have one HP. I guess it makes sense. That's uh, so going to try to defend at the Nexus here. Auction doing a lot of damage by all onto the Auction. But the Kennen counter alts onto the SMSU team and it cleans up just about everyone. Everyone on SMSU eliminated here. They just got to drop tower aggro and focus down these turrets. Lux is. respawns, tries to get the kill on Blitzcrank. <laughs> Unable to. He is actually paying attention. And the game is going to end here. SMSU falling in activation on both games. But they've got next week of preseason to look forward to. And hopefully some better games for them coming in next week. So... Thank you for joining us uh, for League of Legends tonight. We do have Overwatch tomorrow, times to be determined. Um, hopefully 6 p.m.-ish for the first game, 6 or 7, um, and 8 or 9 for the second game. And thank you for joining us tonight, and we hope to see you tomorrow.